If you've been on this adventure with me, living, working, and just playing around Buenos Aires, you have kind of seen that the city is very Parisian, very French, very cosmopolitan. But today we're going to be exploring a very different side of Buenos Aires, which is this neighborhood right here in La Boca. La Boca goes back, back, back many generations and it actually retains so much of what you imagine what South America is. This is Caminito, which is this cobblestone streets with beautiful, gorgeous, colorful buildings like this and is flanked with steakhouses, art, like art studios. You can already hear the music starting off in the streets and of course vendors all along. So this is going to be one lively neighborhood as we explore it. Already it is just so beautiful with all these colors and actually this is what has kind of become the representation of Buenos Aires. These beautiful colors, look at this, these, this architecture. <clears throat> For a neighborhood that is pulsating with tango beats, of course, it's appropriate to have this dedication to tango itself. I love this. Just walking around, you can really see the culture of La Boca. Again, tango murals. And there's such vibrancy here. Many of the early settlers in this neighborhood, La Boca, actually originated from the city of Genoa. So there's a lot of, it's still very working class, still very raffish. You can still see that in murals like this where they're building, literally, the settlers. You can see that it's telling the story of how people are still building the neighborhood. And this bridge right here, we're gonna be seeing it. I see it from here, but we're gonna be visiting it. <laughs> Again, the story of the working class. I mean, murals here depicted to show how this city is essentially built as from here from one of the oldest neighborhoods in Buenos Aires and as we get deeper down the street and down into the neighborhood is these traditional old traditional in the sense that it's like this is where the settlers live you can see the it's made out of like these shacks It is super colorful and bright, which just makes me smile. But you gotta also think about like the living conditions in these tight knit quarters back then as well. It's like all around here. Look at this balcony here. There's those little windows. A friend of mine sums up Buenos Aires so well. He says that basically just when you think you've seen it all, just when you think that you've explored all that you can explore of this beautiful city, like there's more nooks to see, there's more restaurants and cafes to try out, there's more people to meet, there's just so much more that the city always gives and this is why I think this is one of my favorite cities in the world and it's just to me I honestly feel Buenos Aires is so underrated neighborhood like La Boca so underrated because I don't know people when people think of Buenos Aires what do you think of let me know in the comments what do you think of uh, because a lot of my friends until 
I started sharing them, showing them these places in these neighborhoods in the city. They didn't think of Buenos Aires like this. And to me, I mean, to be fair, even before coming here, I didn't picture Buenos Aires like this. And just to be exploring here is phenomenal, it's fantastic. Caminito, what a street! All right, it's time to explore the little alleys that I was talking about. So this one is right beside the tracks. As you can see, it's small, you know, it's small. But side by side with these alleys, it's like you can peer into these boutiques, these restaurants. This restaurant really retains its old world aesthetic. Look at that. I love those tablecloths. And that TV too. As you can see, autumn in Buenos Aires is in full bloom. It is my favorite season universally and this is why. Perfect climate, perfect temperature is about 22 degrees today. So like summer in the Netherlands basically. But then you get these gorgeous, gorgeous trees everywhere and just blue skies. Look at this guy. Well, yes, sir. I would like to have some. <laughs> oh, and then, oh my gosh, just being filled with like these colors. I know I can't stop talking about it, but come on, come on. Like, can you blame me? It's so beautiful. This is like not even just one street. It's like around the whole neighborhood that's like this. Ooh, look at this. This is Central Cotro de los Artistas, which is basically a lot of artisanal shops and boutiques all around. And it's an open, free space where you can explore and it really captures what it is and what it was also like in La Boca back then too. Definitely giving me Old Town Road feeling here. I love the exposed open balconies and then these murals. Also, check out the checkered floors. And there's different levels to explore here too. It is so freaking cool. Whoa. Oh, all right. <laughs> as close as I'll ever get. <laughs> know already that how well preserved the city is because even here in La Boca you can see all these brightly colored zinc shacks that's like all the way back from the early immigrant days and it's still everywhere in the neighborhood intact great condition too 
so you can see what it was like back then. And what would La Boca be without all the cool street vendors and that you can get your different jewelries, antiques, artisanal goods, leather. This one. So cool how intricate the masks are. And there's this guy who just pushes his cart around. You've seen him in San Tama as well. And he just sells you coffee <laughs> by the cup. <laughs> so cool here. Ooh, really nice leather bags. I should check out some of these belts too. What I also really like about this neighborhood, aside from how lively it is here, are the tons of pedestrian streets all over like there's just blocked off no cars you can just walk anywhere just so nice and safe Right, I am hungry, you know I always eat. And then there's this cherry pan side. There's a quite a few stands around, but hola! <laughs> but this one looks so good. So I had to get it. Okay, maybe Bali Bali El Mono. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yes. This is the this is the stand stand's name. Where you can find it. Where you can find him. My father. Oh that's your father? Wow! So you've been like cooking for a long, long time, making choy pan. Mmm. Wow. I'm juicy. Mmm. Fat. That's a fat, fat choy pan. He knows what he's doing. Apparently his father was like making choy pan at the same stand before him and now he's taking over the family business. That was pretty cool. But his choy pan, so good with his picante sauce on it. Just like the nice amount of grilled pork that what Argentina is known for. In La Boca, we can't, ex cannot not explore outside the Caminito area itself because the neighborhood is still so bustling with one of the most, I guess this is the famous football, the most famous football stadium, if I can say that, in South America. Right here, right here, folks. And I love this <laughs> mural dedicated to just the barbecue asados here. <laughs> I thought the Polo Stadium in the neighborhood I'm living in, Palermo is big, but this stadium is huge. Huge. <laughs> they're so handsome. 
And another thing that you can never, never not see anywhere, I guess, in any neighborhood in Buenos Aires is street art. I mean, from Palermo to San Telmo to La Boca, there's just beautiful murals wherever I turn. Ooh, those dogs are vicious. El Ganero is for four months. See. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, creepy my creeps. Okay. Here seem to have stumbled upon a courtyard away from the main center of Camenito. And this is actually the shared courtyard of the people who live here. I think I'm here. I'm gonna just be here for a little quick, quick browse and look. And then I'm gonna dip because it's really quiet here. And so this is very residential. I'm gonna leave. Look at this beautiful mosaic table. It's just so cool to see it like this. The shared community aspect of it here. Okay. Is this open? This is open gate. Back out into the streets, exploring La Boca. I love saying it too, La Boca. <laughs> Casual live tango dancing here out on the streets. From here, you can really see the origins of this working class blue collar neighborhood because it's right on the river. This is the port. You can see how there's the bridge right there that I was talking about earlier. And like, you can see how these people like pulled up right here. It's actually so fun taking you with me exploring these neighborhoods I've never been to before in Buenos Aires. I hope one day you'll get to come here and see it for yourself too. I mean, I love these quiet mornings since most porteños don't get out about until about 10 to 10.30 a.m. Even if you're here between 8 to 10 a.m., you'll feel like you have the morning sun in the neighborhood just mostly to yourself. And it doesn't matter which neighborhood either. And in a city of over 15 million people, that serenity that comes with it is really special during these autumn mornings.
view around the port, you can really see how industrialized it still is with these factories. But you can also tell how the neighborhood and the city is trying to revitalize this area into an art area with museums like this, which we're going to go to. Such a cool museum. So it exhibits all these childhood games and toys that inspires our teen lives. Fundacion Proa is, from its beginnings, an essential reference point for the arts in Buenos Aires. The museum focuses on the great artistic movement of the 20th and 21st centuries and as you can see, includes a wide contemporary disciplines like photography, cinema, design, electronic music, all in this three-story building spread over four galleries, a multimedia auditorium, a specialized bookstore, restaurant, and a terrace. And as you can see, it's a really beautiful beautiful creative space to explore while being in La Boca. Also, I did not expect this museum to be this huge from the outside. There's so many things to see. I mean, this is what I mean by the revitalization of the art and cultural scene in La Boca. The thing is, La Boca has always been an artistic neighborhood filled with art and now, but you know, over the years, because it's still a port area, over the years that has kind of faded, but recently has been really been brought back. So you can see places like this that brings that back even in down random streets. Damn, walking in this industrialized area of La Boca, just saw this building down the street and I was like, this looks so familiar. Let me walk up a little closer to it. And this is one of the, I would say this is the first building that I saw coming, one of the first buildings that I saw coming into Buenos Aires by ferry. So I went, if you guys remember, I went from Uruguay, from Montevideo and took a ferry to Buenos Aires in Argentina instead of flying and on the ferry ride as the ferry was pulling up into the scenic port of this capital of Argentina this was one of the beautiful buildings I was like that's so pretty I saw it in the distance like I wonder if that's just like a regular building or anything and then I just found out as I got closer that this is an exhibition center Usina de Arte so it's an art exhibition center and now Definitely gonna go see it. Right, there's not much going on here today because there's no exhibition going on, but just being able to see this building and walk around it architecturally, fantastic. I mean, look at this, it's an old factory, but I think it's like an old railway station because there was train tracks leading into the courtyard upon entry pretty cool pretty awesome way to end la boca
I hope you enjoyed exploring La Boca with me. Leave me a comment what you think of this neighborhood compared to the others in Buenos Aires that I've showed you so far. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already because there's more Argentinian adventures in the next vlog.